Hello everybody, every single viewer of the world, it's finally time for my next manga. Yay! Once you know it, this is the latest PG-13 one that I've released thus far. But enough of that, which all of that was good news. Now we get on to the intro. This is Saki Nikaido Stuff Final Into Anime 2024 here. Otherwise known as writer manga name and slash author on channel, John Pullman. And Gabe, if you're new, I'm going for a really huge subscriber goal, so make sure not to miss out on latest content on the channel, and make sure you hit the bell notification so you're notified for more content on the channel, and drop a like and comment. Thank you. Now, everyone must be wondering, what does the word Shichikara mean in English, because it's a Japanese word? For death power, yeah, the word she, like Shinonuma from Cod and stuff, apparently that means death or whatever it stands for. But I looked up the definition and, I mean, I didn't look up the definition of the word, I know what death means. I uh, looked up what the word was for Japanese and it turned out to be she Chikara, so yeah, we're in for a big ride this one's going to be really big. It is PG-13, needless to say. It might have a few radar moments, so let's get the warning out of the way right quick. Shichikara is my latest PG-13 manga up to date thus far. Was finished on April 7th, and now it is currently April 8th. So, warning, viewer discretion is advised for the following. Scary moments... A few parts of language, but not too heavy on it. A few parts of gore. Very good storytelling. And... Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. Shichikara is rated PG-13. And that being said, let's just get this out of the way. No time to waste, man. No time at all. So, strap in and strap down. This is about to be good. This is about to be real good. Oh, and sorry. Uh, apparently, um, two, like, not two, but a lot of people want a third metamorphosis. So, I'll probably work on that a little bit later. But honestly, after this manga, I'm probably just going to watch some killing debates, to be honest, or go for Resident Evil stuff. Anyways, now without further ado, let's hop into it. Shichikara is going to be pretty good. And let me know if you want a second season by the end of this. Alright everyone, welcome. Season 1, Shichikara. Episode 1, Evil Lies Within. And here's some lore for the main character. <laughs> On my 16th birthday, May 3rd, 2013, I lost my sister. In a car crash. And everyone I love blames me. So I was sent to an old house. My name is Sanuki Jamarete. And my life is a hell to live. Mm hmm. So you're Sanake kun, hmm? I see. Um. Are you... Why are you all dressed like a cult? You're going... If you're going to kill me, do it. Said Sanuki as he fell to his knees and faced his head down and didn't care about death. Sanuki is age 16 and has a kind heart and personality. And red hair, black eyes, a stitched up cut under his left eye. And wears a blue shirt, black pants, and brown shoes. As I stood up and blinked. They were just normal people. Two adults and three teenagers. But I felt sick to my gut. I saw the bathroom so I ran. But... To vomit, but it was only blood. The hell? 
Sanuke, turn around. What are you? You are me. As I passed out in the bathroom, I was taken to my room by a girl named Ellery, and I was given medicine by a boy named James. And when I woke up, another girl named Cindy told me that I was asleep for 10 days and said that we have to do three deadly trials. This scared us all, and I was told I'm the leader. Ellery is age 13 and has long pink hair and green eyes and wears all black and brown boots. James is age 17 and has black hair, green eyes, and wears black glasses and an orange shirt and brown pants and black shoes. And finally, Cindy. Cindy is age 14 and... Has long orange hair and blue eyes and wears a black shirt and pink pants and black shoes. We all were about to face the deadly death trials. Episode 1 done. Next episode. Episode 2. The first death trial. But first we have the opening song. Please enjoy. Opening song, Deadly Soul. Give me a life of my trauma of this hell, I can't take it no more. My soul became deadly, the power of death has an amazing feeling to just guide me. Yeah, that's the full opening song, but the ending song is way better. Episode 2, The First Death Trial. When there was any light in the sky... The first death trial took place outside an alleyway with a switch at the end of the alleyway. Okay, everyone. To prove our loyalty, I'll go. The rest of you, stay here. Okay, said Sanuke. As Elri did as told, James loudly said, Don't go any further. Look down. The hell? It's a trap. Um, Cindy, why do you have a map of this trial? Do you know something? Asked Ellery. As Cindy and Ellery talked, James threw a rock at the switch. This distracted Sanuke, making him step on the button and making huge knife blades come out of the wall. But they stopped thanks to James hitting the switch with the rock. Take a look at that trap. You okay? Uh, yes, I'm okay. Who stopped the blades? As everyone in shock pointed at James, Sanuke hugged James with joy. And as they all went back to the house, they made a promise to meet in the dining room. So as they all rested up... They met at the dining room at 12 p.m. Everyone, I have a story to tell you all. How I got a power to heal, kill, and protect. This power is called Shichikare, a.k.a. the death power. Strap in, everyone. And I'm not gonna kill anyone. I'm too kind, plus I trust all of you. As everyone was calm, they, sta they sat back down as Sanuke's eyes went back to normal color and the black line on his face went away. He began his story as he sealed his power away as he began to tell how this death power came to be. Episode 2 done. Next, episode 3. Shichikari Flashback Death Power Episode 3 Shichikara Death Power Flashback Three hours earlier in Sanuke's room. I can't believe this place. That trial was insane. But we all are alive. That's good, said Sanuke. 
as his other self went inside him and said, Do you want my power? Yes, I do. It hurts. Ah! Present time. 17.01 a.m. So you're a demon or something like that? But not evil, asked Cindy, as Elry and James paid attention. attention. That's right, Cindy, but I felt a pain of fire and bones cracking in my body. My mouth disappeared for five minutes. James, you knocked on my door, remember? Said Sanuke, as James said yes. I do. And then you opened the door... Acting different. Is that why? Yes, James, you're correct. And as I felt powerful, my mouth came back. And as I came out here with all of you, that leads us up to now. And like I said, I'm not going to kill anyone. I trust you all, said Sanuke, as they all smiled and they went back to their rooms. Remember when, uh, I forget who it was, but remember when one of the characters asked Cindy if they knew something? I wish I could tell you that wasn't foreshadowing. I really do. But it leads up to now. Meanwhile, in Cindy's room, 2.03 a.m. at night. I don't know if he can hear me, but I'm the one that made these trials of death. <laughs> I need to tell the others. Cindy's room, stay out. Is That's a sign on her door. Yeah, and James is like, oh crap, I need to tell the others, yeah. Episode 3 done. Next, episode 4, Truth vs. Lies Untold. And it leads up to now, there's the episode name, see? Episode 4, Truth vs. Lies Untold. Hey, Sanuke! Can I talk to you? It's important, said James. As he went in his room, both Sanuke and Elri joined James in his room. So the reason I told you two to come here is the truth of who made the death trials, said James as Elri asked. Well, who is it? Huh? It's Cindy, and that's the truth. I'm gonna... I'll kill her. She must die. She must now. As both me, James, went to stop Elry from killing Cindy, when we got there, Cindy wasn't there. But Elry told us not to move or not to come in. But it didn't matter because Cindy was already behind both of us. Ready for your second death trial? No, you bitch. What did you call me, James? <laughs> As James was pushed into a big hole, Cindy told Sanuke and Elry that if they went after him, they'd die here and now. Fine, we will play by your screwed up rules, said Sanuke. As both him and Elry sat down in the living room. As Cindy watched them. So Cindy I have two questions for you. Number one. Are you also a demon? And what is your power? And number two. What's in that hole with James? Asked Elry with rage as Sunuke calmed Elry down. Why very good questions. I am. Yes I am a demon. Like Sanuke, except I was born this way, and my power is all like ending the world, killing and all. I am a demon of death, and for the second deadly death trial that only James can do. There are monsters and a lot of spiders and other deadly things, said Cindy, aka Death. As she grabbed a knife, and she grabbed Sanuke's left hand, 
and cut off Sanuke's middle finger and pinky finger. Ah! Ow! Ah! Oh my god! Why did you do that? Why? asked Elri in shock as Cindy slash Demon of Death threw Sanuke on the floor as he hit his head. Sanuke passed out as Cindy slash Demon of Death said, For each question you ask, Sanuke will suffer. So you better hope that James makes it out alive of the second deadly death trial. But nothing will happen to you, Elri. Only Sanuke, said Demon of Death with a creepy smile on her face as Elri began to cry. Poor Elri. Episode 4 done. Next episode 5, the second death trial. James only. Fear and madness strike. And we go on to like windows and stuff like that and spider webs and it says next page now before we begin this episode i want to say that this episode has a lot of scrapped content and deleted scenes so if anyone has questions in the comments i'll be happy to like you know go ahead and make a video or just answer your comments in general but that being said, not only is this episode 5, but it is also the last episode of season 1. That's right, season 1 only has 5 episodes, but a pretty good story I must say. Now, let's get into it. The final episode. Of season 1 anyway, unless all of you want a second season. The second death trial, James only, Fear and Madness Strike. Episode 5, the last episode of Season 1, three hours later in a cave. Ow, my head, where am I at? It looks like a cave, said James as he stood up. He opened a door which kept going into the cave, but he saw a bunch of webs which had dead people and other things. As James stumbled in fear... He heard a loud screeching sound. Which leads us to this colorful looking thing and him being scared. That's a spider and a few webs right there. Yeah, it's really weird looking. Ah! What is that? Ah! Someone help me! Screamed James as he ran. A hand grabbed him and pulled him into a hole as he rolled down a hard rock slide. He got cut up, his glasses got lost, and finally he landed down into a room with a lake and another door. Huh? Who pulled me down here? Where am I? Wait, I hear a voice. It's your fault. You did this to us. We're dying because of you. You're... you going mad. Ah! Make this stop! I hate this! Just stop it! Get away from me! <laughs> stop it! I can't take it anymore! Let me out! Cindy, I know you can hear me. I know you can hear me, you dumbass! As Cindy slash Demon of Death heard that James turned into the Demon of Madness... She used her power to erase him out of the world by taking his soul from his body. As he stumbled backwards, he fell to his knees and fell face up towards the ceiling. James had died. Goodbye, James. Back in the living room with Elri, Sanuke, and the Demon of Death. Buzz, buzz. Oh, well... Looks like poor James didn't finish the second trial. <laughs> because he's dead, I ate his soul. And now his body lays in a cave of water. <laughs> no! You bitch! Season 1 done, rated PG-13. Do you want a second season? And now the ending song, and then I'll be back in a few. 
Ending song, no escape, just suffer. Uh, so we can bend to as well. Fall in line and just pull the strings to survive, no escape, just suffer. To a tunnel of horror in this deadly survival task. But only time will tell as of us. All living can our souls win and survive, or will we break down? Boom. There you go. So that was She Chikara, aka in English, Death Power. That was Death Power. The first season, Raid PG-13, even though it didn't look like a PG-13 story. Now, I did ask, do you want a second season? I wrote it down there, and let me know in the comments, who was your favorite character? What did you think of this story, this manga, and did you enjoy it, etc., blah, blah, blah. I can already tell by that answer, but honestly... I had fun making this one as I do with all of them. So, I mean, there's not much to say other than if none of you want a second season for this, then I can just move on to Metamorphosis 3. Which, if I move on to that and you all want a second season, I'll definitely pick up where the um, story left off of this manga. But think about it like this. The third death trial was not introduced in season one. So there has to be a second one, right? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Sorry. There has to be a second one, right? And if not, did you think this was a fair ending? Or did you think it needs another season? Let me know down in the comments below. And that being said, viewers, I'll see all of you... Later on, this has been Saki Nikaido, stuff funny lent to anime 2024 here, slash writer, manga, author named John Pullman, slash Gabe. And that being said, everybody, I'll see all of you in the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace out. Bye-bye.